بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وبارك والسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Nicholas Lardis. I've been nicknamed Abdul Wudud, and I'm here today to talk to you about Masjid Isa bin Maryam in Stratford, Connecticut. You know, I remember I was actually in high school when this Stratford was built in my town of Stratford. It was uh, about four blocks away from my house, and very shortly after it built, it became a, a staple of the community, a permanent fixture in the community. I remember. Uh, some of the brothers, Sultan and Ismail, would go for a walk around the block every day after Dohr. And uh, I remember my family used to pass by there on the way to church every day. And I used to wonder about these you know, people praying in a different way than we prayed. And I would say, you know, uh, I wonder who they pray to. I wonder how they pray. It was all kind of a mystery to me at the time. So my family would go to their church, St. Nicholas Russian Orthodox Church in Stratford, Connecticut, where my father is actually the priest. And so I was raised in the Orthodox Christian faith, and it didn't make sense to me from a very early age. Uh, you know, the idea of original sin, the idea of, uh, you know, Trinity, of God being three and one who are also individual and also one and three and I'll billah. So from a very early age I became discontent with the religion and I started looking for truth. I was looking for a connection with the divine, a looking looking for a connection with my creator who put me on this planet. And so uh from a very early early age I started studying other faiths, other systems. I read different works. I spoke to religious people from different backgrounds and uh, I read, you know, Tao Te Ching, Dharmapada, uh, Hobbes, Locke, Kant, uh, Nietzsche, uh, <laughs> uh, Marcus Aurelius, and, you know, all these different philosophies, they all had different elements in them that were admirable in their own right, but they just weren't anything that you could invest your soul in. And so I remember I started looking for my creator and I never found him and I felt this emptiness and I started getting this void inside of me and I remember I used to stay up at night sometimes and just say and God if you're out there show yourself to me so that I can worship you and a few years later I was at work one day and I had an argument with one of my coworkers about Islam actually and I remember right after the argument this really deep feeling came over me that I just had an argument with someone about a religion that I didn't know anything about and the next day I was at a bookstore with some friends of mine and there was a section of Qurans and I bought the first copy of the Quran I saw and I started reading it and for the very first time I felt like my creator was talking to me I felt like the, like I was reading the words of Allah the words of God and after I read Surah Al-Baqarah that was it I knew that I'd found the found the true faith and I became Muslim very shortly after. Now, I became Muslim through uh, my school's MSA. They were the brothers who had called me to Islam, but I didn't really have any sort of support system. I didn't know a thing about how I'm supposed to practice the deen and uh, where to begin. So uh, about a, two weeks or so after I became Muslim, I uh, was on my way from work. Uh, I worked about two blocks away from the masjid. I lived about two, three blocks away from the masjid, so it was right in between the two. So I was, you know, leaving work. I knew I'm a Muslim. I should pray in the masjid. Here's a masjid. So I stopped by. Uh, there were two brothers there at the time because I'd missed the jamaat, but uh, these two brothers, uh, I introduced myself, made my wudu, made my salat, and they welcomed me. These people I'd never met before uh, I started talking with them for a long time, actually, and uh, after a very short time, I knew most of the brothers in this masjid. They made me feel as if I'd known them my whole life. They welcomed me, and they made me a part of the community, and I had absolutely nothing in common with them before. You know, I was from a completely different background, completely different mentality, uh, you know, different age, different culture, different heritage. You know, my family's, you know, Greek and Irish, and... Um, I th 
that was one thing that really struck me about this masjid is a sense of community you know we had brothers here from Bosnia from Egypt from Palestine from Pakistan from India from all over the world and they were all standing together praying in one line two lines three lines and it was a beautiful thing because where I came from the tradition I came from you know you've got the Greek church the Russian church the Serbian church everyone's got their own claim to God and these were people from different backgrounds different languages different parts of the world all praying all gathering together for the sole purpose of la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that's what's so beautiful about this masjid is it's a place where where brothers are learning their arabic where children are becoming hafiz al quran where the youth can come and play basketball and be in a safe environment away from any of the fitness of being a youth in the western world today and where the community comes together to grow this is a central place a hub for this community and they do a lot of good they're constantly calling people to islam they're constantly working on bettering themselves bettering the people around them and they need our help so Today, I'm just going to appeal to you, you know, there, there's a hadith, Umar bin Khattab, radiallahu anhu, has said that, I heard the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say that whoever builds a masjid in which the name of Allah is mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build for him a, a house in paradise. So, inshallah ta'ala, I'd ask you to please help these people. This is a, a very good community excellent brothers, very warm, they do a lot of good for the Muslim Ummah, they do a lot of good for their community, they're trying to expand, they've got a real need for it, and they've done a lot of good, they've had a huge impact in my own life. They taught me my deen, they taught me my salat, they taught me my fard, they taught me what invalidates my fard, they, you know, all of these different elements that allows me to worship my Creator. They've given that to me, and that's something that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. So I ask you to please give to them, help them, support them. These are our brothers in the deen. And Allah has told us that the, the ummah is like a body. If any part of the body aches, the whole body feels it. I ask you today to please feel the need of these brothers. They're an excellent group of people. Help them with whatever you can. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.